There's a new partnership in place tonight with a goal of getting Ohio to work at the speed of business in creating new jobs. Nine News reporter Tom McKee is live and over the Rhine with how it's working. Tom? Well, Carol, so far it's working very well. For example, this is the Brandry, where eight high-tech firms are laying the foundation for future job growth. And it's part of an overall strategy to create 200,000 new job opportunities in the next 10 years. Now, over 200 Cincinnati area business leaders were briefed on the plan today at the Western Hotel. The main focus is jobs, but other goals are attracting $2 billion in new investments and boosting annual wages. Ohio development officials added they've already lured an unnamed firm to Cincinnati by quickly overcoming a firm, a concern rather, that the firm had about moving here. And so the governor uh, looked at me and said, Mark, can we change it? I looked at the, uh, our project manager. We were at the spreadsheet. We kind of plugged some numbers around and said, yeah, we can do it. That's the speed of business, okay? Then we were able to reach across the table and say, hey, if we are able to do this, combined with a couple other things, will, will you relocate your business? Yes, we shook hands. That's how you have to work. Now, the Brandry Business Accelerator is luring entrepreneurs from around the world to the city to start and grow businesses. The eight firms here have now two or three employees each, but have big growth plans. And, of course, more jobs means more revenue. More revenue could mean uh, perhaps lessening some of the impact of the cuts we've seen in the state budget and the local budget levels for the past several years, Clyde and Carol.